Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us, us that, who taught us this truth. All right, Salakia. And honors and citations to the elect. Whew. All right, man. So, you know, things is heating up, tightening up. You know, like even Jake in the world say, pressure makes diamonds. <clears throat> Hell, like even the scriptures say, that the Lord is going to bring us through the fire and we're going to be tried as gold is tried. Okay, and we're gonna pass. We have no choice but to pass through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashemashai, not by our own strength, but by Yahweh Bashemashai and us being of the hopeful elect and us doing what we had to do all this time. You know, it's it's. Be I'm excited, man. You know, it's beautiful. All right, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashemashai. So, I just want to get into on uh, Yahweh Shai and what he said. Because we remember the last shutdown. It was no water. You know what I'm saying? It was hard to come across water. It was the it was it was it was for real. You know, and uh, now. We headed into what? That next shutdown. And this shutdown, it may be. Well, what it's eventually going to come to is. We're not going to be able to go into uh, their stores. You know, over there in France, they're protesting about the C passport. And in order for you to get into certain restaurants, in order for you to get into the bars any recreational type of buildings you got to show proof that you had the V so they're over there protesting about that and of course that's going to come here and eventually they're going to say that this thing is so serious and so deadly that if you don't want to get it by now then you're abandoned from society and you know, and this is why I'm in the uh, apoc uh, apocrypha. So, when we begin to see that, that's why this scripture will be fulfilled. You know, hey, just speculating, those that are, pil those that are, uh, you know, living in the wilderness and those that are not in concentration camps could be because they took heed to this scripture here. They foresaw the perfect timing to fulfill this scripture here and it's getting close this is 2nd edges 16 and 40 it says oh my people hear my word make you ready to the battle and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth so when you see uh, uh, the United Nations out here patrolling the streets because they're talking about all the police and all the uh all the uh, fire department, all you city workers, you have to uh, uh, take the uh, jab or get tested every single week. Now, over there in Europe, the, the, the test costs 49 euros and 49 euros in American dollars, so we can understand, is about $60. So every week you got to pay $60. So that's a one two punch. You burning a hole in your pocket and you burning a hole in your nose. So who wants to continue up with that? So they're just going to fucking quit. You know, some of them is going to quit. Some of them is going to uh, uh, bitch up and take it. So without and New York is bad as it is. California is bad as it is. So what? What's going to happen? They're going to have to call in that U.N. All right, the United Nations or whoever, Homeland Security, whoever, 
So when we see that going on and we see, oh, you can't come into the stores, period. You know, unless you got the jab and then eventually the chip is still going to make its way because that is the MOTB. It remains to be seen how they're going to play that out. But that will make its way sooner or later, more so like sooner. And when that happens, we're going to say, all right, well, we know what time it is. We can't go into the stores. Martial law is, is, is all around. We know what time it is, man. You know, and then during that time, shit is uh, getting real, man. You know, and if you take that punch, you know, friend of mine. You know, you know, you know, family of mine, you know, friend of mine. That's it. You know, because you're the fall guy. You guaranteed to uh, uh, be destroyed. Taking that thing, taking that concoction of poison. So there's no hope for you. You know? I mean, the only hope is that you you, you, you pass on and then you could come back in the uh, 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 in the in the, uh, uh, in the chariot, you know, but that's up to up to the Lord. But I know one thing you tell the MOTB, you really done. You ain't you won't make that first round trip into the kingdom. So this is uh Matthew five. 25, I mean Matthew 6 and 25 Therefore I say unto you Take no thought for your life See, just go and do what the Lord said But we can't go into the stores How we gonna get the How we gonna eat, how we gonna get water How we gonna do this Hey, I wish I said Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life I mean like, come on You know, I mean it's easier uh, Said than done because I mean, it remains to be seen. But even when the when the time comes, it it, it may be easy to, do, to to fulfill, man. We don't know until we get until we get there. So it says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not life more than meat and the body than raiment? Yeah. Living. You know. Life is more than just. Don't listen to uh, Yohanna of the ISUPK, who is a terrible leader who does not rule well, you know, who says, you damn straight, I'm going to take it. I got to eat, right? You know, you're not supposed to be worried about uh, you. You worried about food. And you, he said that like two years ago, and he's already worried about how he going to eat. Man, don't worry about that. Worry about pleasing you. How about Shemashar? Worry about your life. Worry about your condition. You know, now because you're worried, you're worried about food, you you susceptible to turn a, a, into a damn zombie, into a robot, into whatever evil soul wants you to. Because you 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 take a thought of how you're going to eat and how you're going to drink and stuff like that. Verse 26. Behold, the fowls of the air. Yeah. Look at the fowls of the air. Look at the birds. For they sow not. Neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Yeah, and these these stores are like uh, almost compared to as barns. That's where all the food is at. You know, but you don't see birds worrying about. Oh, I gotta go to the store. That's the only way I can eat is if I go into the store. All right, and buy this and buy that, pack it in my fridge. You don't see birds worrying about that shit. But it says, yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Yeah, we still see the bird species. They haven't, they haven't starved out. And then on top of that, it says, are, are ye not much better than they? And of course we're better than them. The Most High made Adam have dominion over all the creatures upon the planet Earth. So we're better than birds. So if the Lord feeds the birds, how much more is the Lord going to feed us? All we got to do is do what he said. You know? So let me jump down to verse 34. Go 32. Oh, 31. And the Lord said it twice. 
The Lord said it twice. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. See? Three deep freezers. A whole uh, uh, cabinet full of liquor. Doomsday bags. You know, which ain't nothing wrong with pack, making yourself a little book bag. You know, getting yourself stuff stuff you need just to uh uh uh, uh for the beginnings of, of it. But you know it's gonna eventually run out. But these guys, man, whew, bunkers. All this and that, man. Because these things that for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. And how do we seek the kingdom of the Most High? By doing what the Lord said. It says, In his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you, man. The clothes, as it says in the 30th verse, in the 28th, the clothes slash the raiment, the food, the drink, is all going to be added unto us, man. As long, so long as we seek the kingdom of the Most High first, because this is getting ready to go down. Thank the Al Bashim Al Shah, all praise and glory to Al Bashim Al Shah. I'm, I'm happy. It says, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day, efficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Okay, so this is something to keep in mind, the frame of mind to be in as this is getting ready to go down. Don't say, oh. oh yeah, the one guy they were interviewing out there in France, I didn't want to take it, but the restrictions were just too much. I mean, I had to. Nah, don't be that guy. Just completely break off from this society, man. You know, as we should be because this place is wicked anyway, and I, I fucking can't stand these people, man. I can't stand them, bro. So this is pretty much it anyway, man. Low Wellness Edifying Quick Lesson, and I'm going to say Shalom.